Hi, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. I wanted to apologize that I hadn't been on in a while, but um, we lost my mom this week in a in a car accident, so um, I just haven't felt like getting on, hadn't had time, but, but I'm back, and um, this is a video that I had started just before it happened, so I wanted to get this one on, um, and I won't be putting on quite as many for a little while, but but I promise that I haven't quit. My mother worked with me in the shop, so it, I, I'm just going to take a little time getting back to that full time. I'm just going to kind of take it easy, uh, but I can probably do some crafting at home, so I'll at least get one or two on a week for now. And this is Shiloh, my granddaughter, helping me again. She was helping me at the shop this day. And um, and I let her pick these colors out. Uh, the one that she is doing in the, is the mint julep, which I've used before. And this pink I haven't tried yet. And, and these are Dixie Belle colors, but I wanted to try a color that I hadn't tried. So I just told Shiloh to go pick out a color. So she picked this. It's called Penny. My mom and I joked about this because she grew up in the country and she's always heard it called peony and uh, we kind of joked about the differences in those names and it was kind of a sweet memory um but here i'm just painting the inside of this plate with a buttercream i hadn't intended on doing that but then when i decided to decoupage this napkin on here and i had this light color in the background i decided that i needed to do that so i just cut that image out from the napkin just as close as as i can and, and now I'm going to take one ply off that napkin because there's two plies here and, um, and then just decoupage that on. So I just put a thin coat of Mod Podge on the plate and then I'm going to go over it with, with Mod Podge. There was an area in the store that, um, that I could use this color, so I was going to work it into my vignette and, uh, but it just didn't happen this day. So, um, but, um. But I, I, I'll try to show it later it worked into the vignette. So now I'm just going over this with a white wax. And again, like I always say with the white wax, it adds a little character to the color. And, uh, and it also uh, seals and protects it. So this little plate was a very easy, uh, an easy flip. And this, um, this frame I also thrifted. And I, I don't think I mentioned that I thrifted the other two pieces. Uh, but this frame I also thrifted, and uh, but it was it was brand new. So um, all I had to do with this one, because I did like the white on it, but I wanted to kind of make it go in the vignette. So I just went over this with, uh, with a clear wax with, uh, with a few drops of this um, peony paint in it. So I just brush that on and get it down into the crevice as well and then just um, wipe it off with a, with a dry cloth. And that just adds just enough of that color without making it too bright um, to go with the rest of the vignette. Now you can use this technique with any, uh, any clear wax. You can put uh, any color of paint in it and, and make the wax that color. So now I'm just using another napkin and um, and I'm gonna take apart the plies and decoupage it just straight onto this glass um, because I don't want the, the glass on the outside. I just don't like that look. I kind of wanted this layered decoupage look here. So I'm just ripping, um, ripping this fabric. So, I mean, not fabric ripping this napkin so that um so that i have the borders on the outside but none of the words and and i like to rip it because i want it to have that organic look uh layered look and uh like i said i just rip it so that the border is on the outside and then um uh, and then i can add um some flowers so I'm just cutting some pieces off, some floral, and I'm just using whatever I feel like will go with these colors. And, um, and I'm using um, 
I guess it's appropriate that I'm using uh, a peony here. Um, but then I'm just using different types of greenery with it. And I'm just going to kind of glue that around and, and that'll give us like a 3D effect on our frame. And, and that's really all I'm going to do to this is just put the frame back on it and then you'll have some wall art. And obviously I let this dry before I started gluing uh, this floral on. And this is a very easy way to, uh, to repurpose a frame just by covering. You can cover that glass with fabric or, uh, or the napkin or any kind of decoupage paper. So here is our little picture uh, that we're going to tone down a lot by putting white wax on it. And I feel like that really um, changed this color up a lot. And also it seals uh, the piece, like I've said before. So um, I just put the white wax all over it and wipe it off. And then that's all that I need to do to this piece because there's a little bit of detail in it, just enough to, uh, to um, for that white to settle into and give it more design. Now this color is a little bright for my taste, but um, but I know that a lot of the brighter colors are coming back. So um, I just thought this would let you guys see what some of these Dixie Bell colors look like. Like I said before, I'm not sponsored by Dixie Bell, but but um, I do sell their products and just recently started. And there's a lot of these colors that I haven't tried yet, so I just definitely wanted to get some of these colors um, in. And if you know of a Dixie Belle color that you would like to see me try, uh, if, if it's one that I haven't tried yet, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to do something with that color. Now this is a very easy fix for a lampshade, is just to take a doily, and this was a large doily, and uh, just put it over the lampshade. And then you could just use it just like this. This was a lampshade that someone had started and not sure where they were going with it, but never finished it. So I had this doily that fit just perfect and I put that over it. And I'm sorry, I'm out of frame here, but now all I'm gonna do is just put this other little doily on top. And uh, it just happened to have uh, the pink center that was the exact size for the top of that. And I thought that was neat. And now I'm just taking some of this lace from the Dollar Tree and just kind of finishing off that top with the lace. And, um, and, and it, it kind of gives it more of a finished look. And then I decided here, and I haven't, I've done this in the past, making these little um, uh, rosettes. And here I'm just using a drop cloth to make them because I wanted them a little chunkier. Um, I'm still not going very large on them, but I wanted them a little chunkier. And so I'm just putting um, putting these roses and I'm kind of building them straight onto this lampshade and, and all the way around the top until I have the whole top covered. Or not the whole top covered, but around the top covered. And I thrifted this little lamp as well, and I really like the look of the lamp, so I didn't do anything to it. Now, because I'm not in frame really well here, uh, and I'm not taking my time to show you here, I'm going to link in the description uh, one of my videos where I did a very detailed uh, rosette video. So if you wanna see more clearly how to make these, just check out the description and there'll be a link uh, to my other video. Now I said before I'm going to start, I mean, I'm going to make several of these uh, different types of lampshades, so I'll just kind of try to work them into, uh, into, you know, one at a time into some of my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it was a short one, but like I said, I just wanted to get something on. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.